Anyway, it's hot. How hot is it? It's hotter than a June bride in a feather bed. The first time I heard that, I was like, what in the world? So anyway, hope that didn't offend you. told my husband that I thought those boots look like witch's boots. Are they are they in good shape? Well yeah. They very seldom touch the ground or on the broom. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny.
vintage and antique loving friends. Thank you for joining me out in my garden. It is 95 degrees out here. I am in Southwest Missouri, or Missouri, however you want to say it. My husband makes fun of me for saying Missouri. He says, I say it like Missouri, Missouri. <laughs> anyway, it's hot. How hot is it? It's hotter than a June bride in a feather bed. The first time I heard that, I was like, what in the world? So anyway, hope that didn't offend you. <laughs> Maybe the heat's getting to me. But I thought it would be fun to show you what I got this week because I haven't put out a video in like a week. And I think it's time. I do have a little footage from going to the antique mall last Sunday. So I started with that. And now here we are for a thrift store haul from the week. Um, see what we got during my lunch break, Monday through Friday. Here we go. Okay, we have got to start with these. Are these not just awesome? No, I did not get these at the thrift store. My husband got these for me at Time Turner Antique Mall. And I'm going to absolutely adore them in my Halloween display. Probably put them by an old broom. Look how tiny those feet are. I can't even imagine getting my foot in there. They're so narrow. I've got like wide feet. Like I don't even know. How, how did they, how did they wear these? Anyway. He got me these. I absolutely love them. Love them. Now let's take a look at the things I picked up at the thrift store. I picked this cute little teapot up. I love the ivy, the pink bow. It's very, what is that? Grand Millennial? <laughs> but it is designed by Mary Ann Baker Otagiri. So that's a fabulous little teapot. Someone's gonna love it. It'll go in my, probably my white tree booth. Then for a dollar, I picked up this very sturdy, hefty, well I shouldn't say hefty, heavy candlestick holder. I would say it's about 18 inches. You could use it as a hat stand. I think that would be a fun repurpose. Okay, I paid two dollars for this. Uh, it says as is. It's a music box, but I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for the cloche. You know, they can be pretty pricey. And I thought for two dollars, I could definitely get my money's worth out of that. And there we go. I was going to say, I know the music box works, but I also thought those butterflies were wonderful. Um, I'm not a big fan of the red flowers. And I got this little mirror for 50 cents. I thought this was kind of cool. It's a, it's a shelf. And to me, it looks like it's made in the shape of a dress form. You put your little wet knots in there, and I gave three dollars for that. Did not think that was bad at all. For two dollars, I got this bath sign, and when I am done with this haul, I'm going to need a bath. Just saying. I am glistening. Did I tell you it's 95 degrees out in the shade? <laughs> okay. I liked this. This is uh, 50 cents. Whoa, it's going to melt. It's called Stick'em Candle Adhesive. Let me take that sticker off there. The 50 cent sticker. I just like the graphics on that. And it's red, white, and blue. Now for a dollar, I got this paperweight. And it has Canadian coins from 1975 in there. 
And you know, I almost get my money back because there's a quarter and a dot here. We're at 41 cents. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought that was neat. And for $2, I picked up this little metal, I guess it's a planter, but it comes from Branson IMAX Market. And it was originally $13.99. It's in great shape, very sweet. I thought it'd be great to corral just about anything you want, maybe some bottles, soaps, washcloths, or you could put a plant in it. I picked up for three dollars this Hazel Atlas measuring cup and it's glass. I thought it was really nice for 75 cents. I got this. I'll put this in my kitchen sink booth. Like the short lick the bowl and it looks like it's never been used. It still has the cardboard on it. Originally $7.99. Then for $2, I picked up this lovely green glass. I guess it's a candle holder or maybe a vase. I'm not sure. It looks like a candle has, like a taper has been down in there. But I picked up two of these for $2 each. But I can't find the top of the other one. It's over in my car somewhere, and it's like 100 degrees inside the car, so I stopped looking. But just take my word, it's in the abyss of the car mess. <laughs> this was one of the first things I found this week. It's like a little, it says 1976 Inesco Imports Corporation. It says that right on the back. And it's got a little bird's nest in there inside one of the mailboxes I only gave a dollar I really like it it may end up on my porch <laughs> then for two dollars and fifty cents I got this photo album I picked this up today um, one of the volunteers showed it to me because they thought I would like the graphics inside so let's take a look at what we've got here our family and then it has birthstones babies weights children's weights all that good stuff but look at the graphics on that there's more there we go but this is just so sweet then a place to do your family and then, of course, places for your photos. I love it. And then back here, you can do some scrapbooking. Great buy for $2.50. It's never even been used. Then for $8, I picked this up. The little buckets come out. And I just really like that stand. I think that will make a beautiful display for someone. We could either put that outside on your porch table or on a little, you know, we could sit it near the garden and put plants. I don't know. I just thought it was wonderful. It's a nice sturdy metal. Looks like a Hobby Lobby piece, but I'm not absolutely sure because I can't find any stickers but I, I think it's a great piece okay the last thing I have to share with you that I got this week is it says Castle Films own and show entertaining movies for all occasions the inauguration of Eisenhower and the nation's capital but you know I got this because it's red, white, and blue. Um, I tried looking this up online, and I think this is from 1953, and it does have the reel in it. But I don't have I don't have a camera to play it. But look at how neat that is. 
I think it'll look great in a display of red, white, and blue. You guys, I am melting. Holy moly. What is it like where you're at? Is it warm? <laughs> is it cold? Is it raining? Can you see how dry we are? Our yard is absolutely burning up. I finally broke down and watered the flower bed yesterday morning, gave it a really good soaking. Um, I don't usually do that because in my flower bed I have planted um, native perennials. And so usually I don't have to tend to them too much, just the things in the pots. Um, the perennials, the native perennials do pretty good on their own usually. But it's pretty dry. We might get some rain tomorrow. We might not. <laughs> we'll see. But I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for being here. And uh, let me know if you liked anything I got this week. Tell me what your favorite thing is. And just tell me, how's the weather where you're at? Where, where are you um, checking in from? Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.